Ever wonder how to define cables in StatPro without using pre-existing database? Imagine designing a structures like suspension bridge or cable supported roof with the precision. See, while cables don't come preloaded in the Stat software database, the good news is you can easily define them with yourself. In today's video, we will simplify the process of defining the cable section in StatPro. Hello engineers, welcome back to Civil Nirman where we turn technical topics into practical steps. See, cables in StatPro only need one key property and that is the cross-sectional area. This is important because that's how Stat calculates the forces and stresses in the cable. So once you know this, you can define cable section in many ways. So here I have four different ways through which you can define the cable properties in Stat. So let's check out this particular method. Method number one is the Stat general define user interface so in this graphical user interface you just simply need to go to the properties page click on the define tab choose the cable section type and input its cross-sectional area boom you are ready to assign it in your model the next method is using a prismatic section with the diameter so the first approach is by defining the cable as a prismatic section using the diameter which is labeled as yd and you can use that in the stat editor model and here is the syntax let's say we want to define it for the member number six so you can use this syntax in the stat editor now remember here the yd value specifies the diameter in the units consistent with your model so don't forget to check your unit values before input the value this method is straightforward and perfect for the circular cables where you only need the diameter to calculate the cross-sectional area method number three is using the prismatic section with the area so if you know the exact cross-sectional area of your cable you can use the ax value property in the stat editor and here again is the syntax for a particular member see this approach ensures the precision if you are working with the non-standard cable dimensions method number four in that particular using a pipe section you need to define the hollow cable or a pipe like section and you can specify both the outer diameter and the inner diameter value and here is the syntax in the stat editor now remember one thing in this particular example we have assumed the inner diameter as zero meaning the cable is solid however you can adjust the id value for the hollow cable as well Method number four is the user defined sections. Now, if your cable section doesn't fit in this predefined options, STAD allows you to create a custom section using a user table. This gives you complete flexibility to match any unique cable geometry. So out of four, which one is the easiest method? Tell me in the comment box. Now, once you assign or define the property, the next step is assign that particular member as a cable specification. So once your cable section is defined, it's time to assign its specifications. So you just need to go to the specification, beam tab. Now define the initial tension for the cable and add and assign the specification to the cable members in your model. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, comment below with your questions and share it with your fellow engineers. Don't forget to subscribe for more practical tutorials. Until next time, keep building your dreams and remember, don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you.